Hi, my name is Agatha. Welcome in Agatha's Cottage. Today I would like to talk to you about Sew April Blouse Challenge. It's a great sewing challenge organized on Instagram by Gabrielle from the Cloth Edit and Ruan the Yorkshire Sewer Girl. There is no official blogging tour. I decided to share with you few blouses I hope to include in my spring summer wardrobe. I don't think that I will have a chance to make all of them in April, but I'm aiming to have at least one done. And they all should be done by August, hopefully. As you know, in Ireland we do not have a big distinction between warmer months and uh, summer months and winter months. It's basically a matter of how many layers you will put on. So very often I wear those same t-shirts in winter as in summer. It's just a matter in summer I don't need the cardigan or a jumper. Although for majority of days I do. I have few ideas that I think will fit into what I'm envisioning for my spring summer wardrobe. If you watch my frog tails video, you know that I am planning to make wide leg navy trousers and I have another pair of very similar trousers made in linen and I live in them during summer months so navy trousers would be great addition to my wardrobe. So I thought that I should include few blouses that can be worn with them. Of course they will go well with jeans, denim skirt or even with Pina 4 when I will finally make it. First idea I have is Paddington Top. Paddington Top is free sewing pattern by Pe Peppermint Magazine. You can actually pay for that pattern if you want. I have it in my stash since it was released. The moment I saw it, I was like, oh, I love it. I want to make it. And did I make it? No. So. It's on my list. I've been adding it and adding it and thinking about it in the back of my head, but I never made it. So that's one of the things I want to make. And I want to make this in this fabulous cotton poplin I got from Beyond the Pink Door. So I got this um, cotton poplin thinking about doing mix between this and one other fabric and doing one of the free mason for uh, blouse patterns. I made that pattern last year and um, after wearing this blouse for a number of times, I realized that I would need so many adjustments to it that I don't think it's worth of me doing narrow shoulder adjustment, FBA. There are three pattern pieces uh, for each side of the bodice basically actually there's like one two three there's five pattern pieces for just the front of the blouse i would need sway back adjustment i would need the bicep adjustment and i was like no it's lovely blouse but it's it's not something that i would wear as often that i would be happy spending hours upon hours and doing muslin upon muslin to get the proper fit so I have this fabric loose from that plan. So I think that will be fabulous Paddington top. The next blouse I want to make is the keyhole blouse by Simple Sew. And I want to make the version with pleats. I have this fabulous navy chiffon with little polka dots. And I think that would be brilliant for Irish spring summer and even leading into winter and I have three meters of it so that's more than enough uh, for this blouse and I should have enough left for a little cami or a vest. Uh, I got this fabric probably four years ago in Poland uh, maybe three years and I just love it. I have other color version here and I will talk about this in a minute. So this pattern comes in sizes 8 to 20, so it's uh, up to 
48 and a half inch bust and 51 one and a half inch hip so it's relatively size inclusive i'm saying relatively i haven't made any of the simple sew patterns like the paper patterns i think i did one pdf pattern but i don't really remember so we will see how it goes i'm planning to make the long sleeve and i think i will widen the sleeves a little bit and i will add the cuffs with elastic to just add a little bit of volume because this fabric will look fabulous with big sleeves i will be making french seams on this fabric where possible because as you know with chiffon it frays like mud and to be honest i hate sewing with chiffon but i just love it so much i'm willing to conquer my fear the next pattern i'm planning to use is a new looks 6560 and i'm planning to do view c so it's just a plain simple view and i will use this fabric so it's a border and glaze i think that's how you pronounce it i got it in white two years ago maybe three uh, I think I have meter and a half of it or slightly over maybe meter 20 so it won't be enough to do the ties um, I will have a look in my stash I think I have suitable white cotton or if not I have uh, white viscose or I will just skip the ties altogether uh, because I think the majority of the length required for this fabric is due to ties so this pattern comes in sizes from 8 to 20 so the um, bust measurement is up to 42 inches i have 44 inch bust but the finished measurement for this size 40 is 47 and a half and that's way more than i need and um, the hip measurement is 44 inches so it's it's not super size inclusive but it's not as bad uh, either as i said i have limited uh, meter yardage of this fabric so i might need to skip the bands on the sleeves and do a little bit of finishing with the bias binding or something like that but I will work something out and I think that would be great blouse to wear with shorts with skirt and or with jeans if needed with wide leg trousers or even long skirt the last plan I have is for this fabulous chiffon so it's it's not off-white it's actually powder pink but like very very pale pink with black polka dots and i'm copying here rochelle from rochelle has my design i'm i'm sorry rochelle but i had to so she made this blouse so it's simplicity as 818 in fabulous uh, white fabric with black polka dots and her polka dots are slightly bigger mine are just little spots and i fall in love with the pattern and with her blouse so i thought i need to make one so i will use this fabric i will probably go for the view with little bow or the view with the bigger color i'm not entirely sure yet i will have a, a closer look on the instagram and see which view i like the most see how many people made it and you know how how it looks overall so it's one of the reprints of the vintage patterns from 1950s i got it recently from so irish and i cannot wait to make it so this pattern comes in sizes 8 to 22 and the bust size is up to 44 inches bust and up to 46 inches hip as i mentioned it's not great size inclusive pattern but is not bad either um and i'm trying to sew more with big four patterns so i think that would be perfect it will go well with my black denim skirt 
I made this winter. It will go well with jeans. It will go well with uh, navy uh, trousers. So I'm very excited about this make. As you see, all the patterns I chose are relatively simple. They suit my style and they suit my personality. I'm not big on ruffles or any frills, things like that. It's just not me. I hoped you liked my suggestions. Let me know. Are you planning to participate in this challenge? What you are making? I forgot to mention what I'm wearing. It's my favorite blouse pattern. It's Rhapsody Blouse by Love Notions. I made this pattern last year during collaboration with Tiffany from How Her Handmade and I love it. This is a hack version. I will leave a link to the uh, video below so you can check it out. I love Love Notions patterns and they have plenty of beautiful blouse patterns. And if you need FBA as I do, you might want to go check their uh, patterns. They do come in with the built-in FBA and for their bottoms pattern, sometimes they have built-in um, full tummy adjustment or flat bottom adjustment. Depends on the pattern. Thank you for watching. I hope you will have wonderful sewing week. Don't forget, clean your sewing machine and change your needle. Happy sewing. Bye.